guys! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kayla and I make new videos every week on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. And I am so excited about today's video because it is my second annual What I Got for Christmas video. You guys really, really liked it last year, so I wanted to, of course, do it again this year. Also, I feel like I have to do a little disclaimer here. This is not trying to brag at all. I just think these videos are really fun. Let's remember the reason for the holiday and just be focused on spending time with family and, um, you know, counting our blessings because that's really what it's about. It's not about the presents but they are a fun aspect and we should share that with each other. So that's what we're doing today. So before we get started really quickly, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you are not already. I'm looking a mess, guys. It has been a long day. I'm finally sitting down to film this at 9.30 p.m. on Christmas day. And I don't know if you guys notice but I'm filming on a new camera. If the camera is like doing weird stuff, I'm sorry, this is the very first time I'm filming on it and I literally just got the stuff, so I'm trying my best. But let's go ahead and get started and of course, I'm gonna just start with the camera because I'm talking about it. So the body of the camera I got for myself as my own Christmas present I have just been wanting to update, upgrade to a nicer DSLR camera. I have the Canon G7X right now, like the vlogging camera that everyone has and it's great, but I just wanted to upgrade something with like a blurry background. So I bought the body of my camera, which was pretty pricey and I'm paying for that monthly for about five months and then it'll be over. So I bought that for myself and then I asked my parents for a couple of the lenses and they did get me the lenses that I wanted, which was so nice. And I think they're more inclined to get me that stuff because they know I'll use it and like that it helps my little business I have going on over here. So they got me the one that I'm using right now, which is more of like a zoomed in focused lens that has like a blurry background. And this is the 18 to 35 millimeter and um, F 1.8 DC. I don't know that much about cameras guys. So I'm gonna have to learn. I told my husband, I was like, I needed that book that goes along with my camera called the Canon EOS 6D4 dummies is literally what it's called so i need that <laughs> but yeah so this is the lens i got this is like just like the sigma lens and then i also they also got me the canon just like simple 75 to 300 millimeter lens so that's also really nice too they are both large lenses so um yeah it's gonna be different but I'm really, really excited about it. These will be great for videoing and taking photos. Okay, so also from my parents, while we are on the subject, my mom got all of the girls in our family these beanies. I told them in New York that I thought they were the best beanies ever. And so she picked us all up one. So this is the exact one that I wanted. It's so pretty, just black with the white sort of specks in there and the rabbit fur palm. So cute, I love it. And I actually really like the palm beanies with my short hair, I was a little unsure, but I think it does look good. What do you guys think? So I really love this one. This is the Kai Kai beanie that I mentioned in my wish list. Also from my parents, they got me it's just a jacket of my college right here and I still go to a lot of like the tailgates and everything in the fall. So this will be perfect, I love it. I think it's so cute and I love anything white. This isn't really my gift, I guess, technically. My dad got this for my husband, Patrick, but I thought I would show it because I'm really excited about it, and this is the like dog DNA test sort of thing. So we have a dog named Buck, and we're really not sure what his breed completely is. He, you know, when Patrick got him, it's, they said that he was like a mix of a boxer and something else, but a lot of people suggests that he's something different. So anyways, we're just really excited. So we're gonna send off his little DNA and see finally exactly what he is. <laughs> and then also from my parents is this skincare fridge, which I'm very excited about. It's just like a little mini fridge. I haven't even opened it yet. So I'm gonna do that after I film this video, but I'm super excited about this. I. I, I don't know. I just, I think it's really weird, but I also think it's really cool to have a skincare fridge and just keep it in your bathroom and have all your moisturizers, your face masks, like any gel eye masks that you have, the jade roller things, anything like that you can keep in there. 
and um, I, I don't know, I'm really excited. So we'll see if this fits on my bathroom county counter. So you can use it as a cooler or a warmer, which is awesome. Um, but yeah, I was super, super excited about that. And then my mom always fills us a stocking. So in my stocking from her, I got a pair of little pajama pants that just have dogs all over them. They're super cute and I love like little light pajama pants like that. She got me a little pair of leopard gloves, which is always nice to have. A pair of earrings from the Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar collection at Target. And then a slip pillowcase, which I'm so excited about. And um, this is just like the beige color, champagne color. I don't know, but I like it. It's really, really pretty. And I actually did have one of these on my wish list, and I don't even think she knew that. But I really, really have been wanting a silk pillowcase. She got me just a pair of little headphones to um, plug into my laptop so I can listen to like my podcasts at work and everything like that. Some Godiva. Do you guys say Godiva or Godiva? I don't know. What is it? Godiva? I don't know. I'm going to say Godiva. Chocolate. The What Do You Meme Mean Girls expansion pack. I love Mean Girls. It's so fun and I love the game What Do You Meme. I force everyone to play it all the time. And then the last thing is the Thoughts of a Dog calendar, which is on my Amazon wish list and I'm so excited about it. I'm going to put it on my desk at work and every day. I can see a thought of a dog. They're so cute, guys. If you guys don't follow thoughts of a dog on Twitter, you have to. It's just so cute, and that puts me in, like, the best mood. So, love this, as silly as it sounds. All right, quickly, more gifts from people in my family. Um, I have a gift from my brother Derek and his wife Ashley. She, I say she because I know that she picks out the girl gifts and he picks out the boy gifts. You know how that goes. But um, I had this book, it's the sequel to the one that I read when I was on my honeymoon, so I've been wanting to um, read, you know, the next one in the series. So I got that, it's called What Happens in Paradise. She got me a pair of giraffe socks, which I always love. A candle that she actually made, so she started her own little sort of business. She makes the wax melt for like your wax melters. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Anyway, she makes that stuff and then she also did a couple of candles and she knows I like candles and I don't really have like a scentsy or anything like that. So she gave me a candle that she made and I'm so excited to burn it. It smells absolutely incredible. It is amazing. It's the pumpkin pecan waffle scent and I'm super excited. So she got me one of her homemade candles, or made me, I guess. And then lastly, a wireless charging little thingy. I don't know if I'll, oh, there it goes. This comes out pretty easy. And this one is just a little gold one. I already had a black one, but I put this one on my Amazon list because A, it's just cute, and um, I thought I could use the other one somewhere else too. It would be nice to have a couple. And I think actually Patrick is going to take my old one because this one's super cute on my nightstand. My other brother, Trevor, and his wife, Katie, got me a few things. They got me the Brewmate little koozie that I asked for, which is so cute, guys. Oh, my goodness. It's just the glitter blush color, and it holds, like, your white claws perfectly. And um, I know I will get so much use out of this, and it's so pretty. So I love that. And then they did get us a little ornament for our tree, which is super cute. Mr. and Mrs. Love 2019. It's our first Christmas together. And then lastly, she said that she just saw these soaps and thought they were really cute. So she got me and Ashley one. And oh my God, it smells so good. And it's gorgeous. I don't even want to use it because it just looks like a gemstone. It's just so gorgeous. But I will have to use it because it smells amazing. My cousin Allison is so sweet and she just like picked up things that reminded her of me along the way i love this she knows she watches my videos she hey allison hey cat i know y'all watching but she always sees me decorate my bar cart in the back corner of my house so she got this to go on it which is gonna look so cute for the spring i'm just gonna hang this right on there and it's just a wooden little sign that has the bloody mary um recipe <laughs> But I love that. I love when people just pick out things that they're like, oh, Kay that reminds me of Kayla. I love that. And then she got this little cigar um, dog toy. So that's going to look 
freaking cute in our dog's little mouths. We're gonna try to take a picture with Buck. Then she got me this wine glass that says, you're gonna love this guys, in dog wines, I've only had one. True, I love that. That cracked me up. And then she also did just get me a couple of face masks, which is good because I'm out of my sheet masks, and a gift certificate to a the nail place that I go to. Literally such a good gift. I love that. Oh, and I forgot about this, the little Victoria's Secret overnight lip mask, which I need to put on tonight because my lips are chapped. And then my friend Amber, she's been my best friend for a very, very long time now. She got me a little Chick-fil-A gift card. She knows I eat Chick-fil-A all the time. And she wrote a super, super sweet card that made me cry. Um, it's very long, so I like literally couldn't even finish reading it and I still haven't finished reading it because it's only the next day. And then she also got this, which I haven't even read yet either because it made me cry on Christmas. But it is so freaking cute, you guys. It just has the cactus earrings and it says stick together and it has this freaking adorable quote and I don't even I can't even read it right now it's just so cute but I will cherish these forever I just love sweet and sentimental gifts like this they're so nice moving on to what Patrick got me so this year is our first Christmas together in our house so we did do stockings for each other which we have never really done before so the things that he put in my stocking first is a back scratcher which I requested which is such a weird thing to request, but sometimes you have to itch your back, scratch your back, and sometimes your husband won't scratch your back for you. So, gotta have a back scratcher. He got me a couple pairs of socks, which are really nice. So these are the spa footies, which are really cool. I don't have any like this. And then these that say lazy day every day. They're little sloth socks. What is this? A hair scalp shampoo brush. Which is funny because I just got my extensions out and before I couldn't really like scrub my scalp. And so when I got my extensions out, I loved just being able to like wash my scalp. So now I'm going to be in there like, like really, really getting in there. <laughs> so this is a funny gift and it also feels really good on your scalp. He also got me a pack of little scrunchy hair ties. He got me a couple of these little gel eye patches that I can now put in my skincare fridge. See, full circle. The last thing in my stocking was this little shirt that has a golden retriever on it, which is adorable because if you don't know, I have a golden retriever puppy and it looks just like him. Then the bigger gifts from Patrick. The first is my hydro flask, which I'm so excited about. This thing is so beautiful and it holds so much water and I've already drinking a full one today and I'm on my second full one and I'm just gonna be a hydrated queen. And he did get this little accessory kit to the straw lid and it comes with a pack of two straws. Then he got me this little thing that I asked for, which is a wine chiller. So it's basically, I got a lot of like beverage related things this year I noticed, but um, so this is basically like a koozie for your wine bottle. You just unscrew this and you place your bottle of wine there and it's snug as a bug and it keeps your wine chilled for hours. So this is good if you are going over to, like I always take a bottle of wine over to his parents' house or anywhere, or even if we're just having people over, we want it on the table. This is perfect. So it's kind of like a little hostess with the mostest gift. And then my last gift from him was just a pair of rain boots that were on my Nordstrom list. So these are just the matte black Jeffrey Campbell rain, like water weatherproof boots. I thought it was time to get rid of my hunters. I just don't wear them and these are totally more my style. So um, yeah, if you know me, you know I would always wear these. Like these are totally up my alley. Alrighty, and then for Patrick's family, so his parents got to me this Hot Tools curling iron, which I requested because of my new short hair. I wanted just a like sh like skinnier curling iron to be able to make tighter curls with my short hair like up here i just wanted some like tighter curls i don't know we'll see they also got me this really nice um eddie bauer blanket and it matches our downstairs theme of the black and white gingham and it is so soft like this side is lined with like the 
fleece and then this side is like that material that's easily wiped off so this would be a great travel blanket his parents also got me this pair of shoes that i wanted to get in new york but they didn't have my size and they got them for me so these are kind of like the golden goose lookalikes from steve madden they have like the star on the side and they are made to like look dirty and grungy and i will wear these 24 7 to work like Literally, I can see myself wearing these with every single outfit because don't have to worry about them getting dirty and they're so comfy. So, love those. And then the other big gift from Patrick's parents is a perfume and this is the Jo Malone London perfume in the wood sage and sea salt and I am legitimately obsessed with this. First of all, I've never had a Jo Malone perfume. I smelled it in New York and I was like, holy crap, that smells good. So first of all, I love the packaging. It's absolutely gorgeous and the scent is to die for. I don't know if I should smoke spray right now because I'm about to like go to bed. <laughs> it just smells so amazing and just so adult. Like I was explaining to everyone, yes, these are expensive perfumes, but it's like my first adult perfume. Like I have other perfumes that are like Taylor Swift or like just very like young perfumes. They still smell good, but I felt like it was time you know, to find like my perfume. And I think that this might be it. And you don't need a lot of it at all. It's very strong, but in a good way, because it'll last you a lot longer. But I'm totally gonna use this box for decoration as well. And then in my stocking from his parents, I just got some pumpkin spice ground coffee, which I will use, a bottle brush, which is always handy, especially with my all my new beverage things. These towels, his mom knows that I love giraffes, so she saw these and thought of me, and they're like Valentine's theme, and I love switching out our towels for the seasons. Some socks, body wash, and the um, aromatherapy line from Bath and Body Works. So this is really cool too. This is a Morse code bracelet and mini frame set, and it says Faith apparently in Morris code. A loofah. This was really cool too. His mom picked this out for me and it is so funny because I already have the notebook of this, like the bigger notebook. And it says life isn't about finding yourself. It's about creating yourself. And then also from his family, a lot of like little gift cards. So we have like TJ Maxx, his brother got me a Ulta gift card and then a lot of just like food gift cards, which is great for like lunch and everything, date nights and all of that. And then from his siblings, I didn't bring everything in here because some of it was pretty big. Like his sister got us a couple big frames to put our wedding photos in, which is really nice. We will definitely utilize those. So his other brother, Chris, and his wife, Emily, got me this little cheese board. It's like marble with the wood right here and it has our little monogram so it has the pk and the l and it's a really unique monogram so i liked it a lot and it has the leather band and i love stuff like this they know i do my house is like white and wood and all of that so this matches absolutely perfectly so we just got a ton of amazing stuff this year like couldn't be more thankful i just have some of the best people in my life but with christmas you can really feel how well people know you and how close you are to so many people in your life and it's really amazing like that's really what the season is about so that is everything i really hope that you guys enjoyed it i hope that you all had the most merry christmas that you could possibly have let me know what you guys got for christmas down below and what you gave for christmas because that's always super fun i just love the holiday season so let me know what you guys did what you got what you gave anything and we will chat down below but like i said thank you guys so much for watching and i will talk to you all very soon in my next video Bye, guys. We got something magical.